Hello everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and what you see here is a huge kindergarten curriculum haul from a childsdream.com. Now not all the things are just for kindergarten and as I go through the curriculum haul I will tell you what things are appropriate for kindergarten and which things are appropriate for older grades. Now all of the links to all these products are in the description box below. The only thing that I got from uh, Rainbow Resource is this Melissa and Doug Dust Sweep Mop Set, which is perfect for pretend play. Okay, enjoy! The first thing I want to show you is this sailboat kit. It says it's for ages 6 and up. My child is 9 and he was able to follow the directions and make this on his own. And he did a great job making it and later today we're going to go over to the lake and try it out. So this is one kit that I highly recommend and of course I'll have a tutorial on how to make it. We also picked up the Win Car Kit, and this one says it's for ages eight and up, but it ended up being slightly easier. However, there is this wire piece in here, and you do want to have an adult supervising if a child who is younger than eight is working on this. But other than that, the rest of it was fairly simple to do, and this one we already tried out and it works. And so these are two kits that I highly recommend, the Win Car and the Sailboat. Okay, the next thing I want to show you, you're probably familiar with, this is the wool felt that we use for our finger puppets. I was running really low on my felt supplies, so I just got the entire rainbow of felt, and we also picked up some more finger puppet bases. These are the ones that have the hole in them, and we'll use the felt for those. For those. And then we also got some more of the peg dolls, which we haven't made yet, but to help us on that journey, let me move this. We picked up another book on making peg dolls. It's by the same author as the first book that we got, which we haven't used yet. And these just have a lot more uh, activities and different uh, projects that you can do. We're really looking forward to it. This is one of my favorite ones in this book, and I cannot wait to make this with the kids. Okay, and now with the peg dolls, um, in my recent haul video, we had picked up these Lyra paints and these were new to me and my kids like them so much they practically used them up in like such a short space of time that I ordered another set. And what I really love about these is that they have a wide range of skin tones and this will be really great when we make our peg dolls. So the kids will still be able to use their watercolors for peg dolls or for paper. It works wonderfully on paper. These are opaque watercolors. And we also picked up some new doll bases. And these ones, some of them have the hole for like a finger puppet. Let me pull this one out. And these ones are not suitable for really young children because they, there are pieces that could break off, so you do need to be mindful. But it comes with this little hole here, and then you just use the pipe cleaner, and you can just run it through. And then you have these two little wooden pieces here that you put on either end. And they do stay in place by themselves just like that, but if you were concerned about them falling off or little kids like pulling them off, you could definitely glue them in place. And they come in different sizes and they are so darling. We really, really like them. I can't wait to get these all with either felt or painted. And they come in different shapes and different, different sizes. And they even come shaped as a gnome. <laughs> Isn't that so darling? Okay, so we have a lot of projects that we can do this year for kindergarten. And I'll have tutorials on all of them, of course. But if you want to see some of our finger puppet tutorials that we've done, uh, like last year, you can click on the screen right now and you can see that complete playlist. Uh, now, I also picked up some felt. This one is white and this one is cream. And it's to do a project that I've been meaning to do forever. But in the meantime, Ivana, and I'll link her channel and her video, already did the project that I want to do. So it's great because now I can follow her example. And of course, I'll have my own tutorial as well, but I have this in order to make pasta. <laughs> and so we're going to make different kinds of pasta for the pretend play for kindergarten. So I'm really excited to get a nice supply of these so that we can sew them up and do that. 
All right, we also have some candles. Now, this beeswax candle, we've been using these every year at the start of the year and especially in winter we like to light a candle at the start of our homeschool day and we had to get another one because this one's just about done it smells amazing these are beeswax candles they are so lovely and they add a nice kind of ambiance to your homeschool classroom we also got the little tea lights and we also got one shape like a pumpkin for the fall all right, so speaking of candles and beeswax, I wanna show you some of the other products that are typical in a Waldorf classroom. And these ones are the different kinds of waxes and they are by Stockmar. And this first one that I wanna show you, they are the really, really thin sheets of wax. Now we recently used this in a geology project in which since they were already like all these different layers and they have like a little piece of tissue paper in between, we were able to use it to show what happens with fold mountains like when they are formed. And that was kind of cool, but my kids didn't want to lose all of the wax just by doing that project. So we left the pieces of tissue paper between them and now we can just flatten them out and they can use it for another project. One thing that you can do with these is you can cover these wooden eggs with the wax since this is a really thin sheet of wax you can make different designs and you can cover the eggs with them but we are not going to do that to all of our eggs I'm going to show you what else we're going to do with some of those so that's the thin wax they also have this is the, the typical wax that you would find in a Waldorf classroom. This one's a little bit thicker, actually quite a bit thicker, and it comes in a wide range of colors, and they smell so delicious. If, if you've never, well delicious is not the right word, but if you've never actually smelled any of the Stockmar products, the wax ones, you are in for a treat because they have smelled the same for the last like 30 or 40 years because this is exactly the same scent that I remember when I was a kid going to a Waldorf school in France. So this takes me right back. So it's a real delight that that, that they haven't changed in all these years. Uh, also by Stockmar are the beautiful block crayons and they come with this little piece of plastic here to scrape off any of the wax that gets onto another crayon and of course it comes with uh, directions on um, just different ways to use the block crayons. Now we've only purchased I think one set and they've lasted us a really long time. So this is the set that we got back when my oldest I believe was in kindergarten. It's possible it was when my second was in kindergarten. Now I can't remember, but they last a really long time. And I picked this uh, crayon holder up from a local Waldorf school. This was handmade by one of the parents and I picked it up from the little shop at the school and I absolutely love it and if I knew how to crochet I would make another one because it's so special and this is when my first son who's now 18 first started school I got this for him and so this year I decided to get a new set of crayons something special for my youngest daughter who's just starting out kindergarten I thought that she would delight in a brand new set of crayons and they also have the stick crayons, which aren't typically used in kindergarten, but I did go ahead and get a whole new set of those as well. Okay, so I have one more thing to show you with uh, beeswax, and the this is the honeycomb candle rolling kit, and it comes in all of these really beautiful colors, and it also comes with the string for the wick, and we're gonna have a lot of fun making these. Okay, so, we also picked up some more watercolor paint also by Stockmar. So something that's unique about the watercolor paint, at least by Stockmar or for a Waldorf school, is that they don't come with a lot of colors. So there's two shades of the yellow, two shades of the red, and two shades of the blue. And with this, you're going to make all the colors that you need. And if you're starting out with a kindergartner, then you would just use three of the um, primary colors 
and go and then you could go ahead and make all the different colors that you need and really the first lesson is just starting with yellow and I also have a tutorial on how to do different watercoloring techniques and you can click on the screen to see that and this time I also picked up these jars in this wonderful wood block and this is great because then you can mix up your watercolors ahead of time and have them in this wood block and then they don't like they don't tip over they, they really just stay in place and then when you're done you can just screw on the lid and then you can use it next time now these are concentrated so you will need to dilute them so this will actually last a really long time the whole year even more this lasts um, for a long time and along with the watercoloring we have these watercolor brushes now these were purchased years ago these ones here are from waldorfsupplies.com and I will provide the link in the description box below these ones here are from a local craft store I'll have one set for my kindergartner and one set for my fifth grader my 14 year old who's in ninth grade has finally lost interest in watercoloring so he probably won't be joining us with a lot of those projects but this is a great activity for kindergarten uh, all the way up through the grades and we use the Fabriano watercolor paper it's 90 pound but if you're working with a really young child it's recommended that you use a piece of paper that's even larger I believe the dimensions are 20 22 by 17 so you want to make sure you have a really really large piece of paper and you want to make sure that it's nice and thick so that you can really add a lot of water to your paper and really let those colors move around okay something else I picked up this is a new product at a child's dream this is the creative silk pack this these are different silk products and this is going to be phenomenal for pretend play for my daughter and I want to show you one of, oh, that is just beautiful it's wonderful and I want to show you the kit that we got to go along with these this is the kit that we got. I, it doesn't necessarily have to go along with these. This is by Sarah Silks. We have these play silks in our home school. We love them, we use them often. And this is actually a kit to make a little playhouse. Let me open this up for you. Okay, so this is the little mini playhouse uh, th th these are the instructions and this is what it looks like. It's super charming. The kit comes with everything you need in order to make it, including a couple of peg dolls. Of course, we have more peg dolls to, to add to this. And also look how beautiful this little silk is to cover it. There's the rainbow colored one and there's also the starry night colored one. It's gonna look beautiful. And then these things can complement the pretend play with, um, with this little activity kit. So that's gonna be something I'm really excited to add to my daughter's curriculum. Okay, the next few things I wanna show you are great for kindergarten and first and second and third grade. And this book is called Crafts Through the Years. And there are so many different crafts and activities that you can do. There's no shortage. And I will be doing tutorials and videos on all of the crafts that we end up doing from this book and any of the other resource books that we're using for kindergarten. So I wanted to show you this one over here. This is called the Frameless Transparency. And you use this with tissue, tissue paper. And I also picked up some tissue paper and this one has all the different colors and they're really, really thin. They're just like tissue paper and they come in these beautiful, vibrant colors. And I think this measures nine inches by nine inches. So it's fairly large. This is gonna last a really long time. Look how vibrant those colors are. It's gonna be beautiful. Something similar to the tissue paper is the this is the transparent paper it's called kite paper and it's transparent and it's really durable and you can make designs with this and then put it in the like on the window and it shines through really beautifully and my kids have already enjoyed using this quite a bit and again this is a great activity for kindergarten all the way up through middle elementary we also got paper sun catchers. So since making these stars on the window is new for me, I thought I'd pick up a, a little activity book or a little um, guidebook on how to make these. And so this goes through different kinds of stars, how to fold them, and it comes with some tissue paper already. 
think the colors are a little bit different or maybe they're the same let me see so just a little bit different but either one uh, is going to be great for for the sun catchers next I want to show you these wooden eggs and also the wooden egg holder this is fabulous for pretend play for kindergarten and even first and second grade so this this is great by itself as a pretend play activity, but also you can add wax to this and make decorative uh, wax eggs. But along with pretend play, I want to show you one more thing that we got. And this one was purchased from Rainbow Resource, and it's by Melissa and Doug, and it's a broom mop and dust set. So it comes with I'm, I'm <laughs> unable to show this to you very well. But anyway, it comes with the stand. It didn't take too much to assemble it. It's nice and sturdy. It doesn't tip over. And then it comes with all these different brooms and mops. So you have this broom here, which is made out of wood. Now these bristles are plastic. And so in a Waldorf kindergarten, it would be recommended that these were made out of twigs or some other natural substance, but the rest of it is wood. This is the mop and my kids already started using this and it actually works. And the duster actually works really well too. So uh, it's a bonus, it's school and chores. And then the smaller one and the little dustpan. Okay, the last thing I want to show you are a few books that are suitable for kindergarten and for first grade. When it comes to the alphabet, we tend to wait till about first grade, which is seven, in order to formally introduce the letters. But it doesn't mean that having a book like this around is going to damage the capacity to learn the letters later on or still have them be um, just a really magical, beautiful expression. Uh, you know, most kids will are familiar with the alphabet before they enter first grade and this is a really beautiful book that we're gonna have a nice time looking through and so this is great for first grade Woody Hazel and Little Pip is a book that my daughter really enjoys the illustrations are really beautiful it is a long book it's not a short picture book it does take a little while to read it's great like at bedtimes to read a, a couple of pages of this the complete Grimm's fairy tale is another nice addition for for um, anywhere from five to eight year olds. You do wanna be mindful because some of the fairy tales can be a little gruesome in nature. And then the other book that we have here is called The Blue Forest. And this is another one where I really love the illustrations. And they're so captivating and again this is a longer story so this would take you a couple of different sittings to read if you just read a couple of pages at a time. And the last thing I want to show you is the curriculum that we're using. This one is by Live Education. It comes with seven different books. To see a more in-depth look at the curriculum, you can click on the screen right now because I go in detail with what we're going to do and how we're going to use this curriculum. It comes with, so it comes with four books with the different seasons with activities and projects and recipes and lots of songs and celebrations for each of those seasons. Folk and fairy tales for kindergarten. If you don't want to get your own book on fairy tales, you don't have to because the curriculum comes with it. And what I like about this is that they are specifically selected for kindergarten. And then it also has the first seven years, which talks all about the development of a child in the first seven years, and also some of the principles in the Waldorf philosophy. And then the last book that you get is the introduction to the kindergarten curriculum, has a lot of insight and suggestions and different things to be mindful of as you're doing kindergarten. Okay, if you have any questions regarding the kindergarten curriculum or any of the items that we got in our haul today, don't hesitate to leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching.